Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're in a little bit of a different setup for today. Usually I would be filming these things from my car, um, but I got this new setup here with my microphone and I figured just to test it out, you know, just to see how this goes. This could be a total failure that we're about to do or this could be, you know, this could work out. Um, we shall see. Um, but uh, speaking of mostly failures, um, let's talk about f uh, Freelance, uh, which is the new uh, John Cena film uh, directed by Pierre Morel, whose other films include uh, uh, Taken, right? Yeah, Taken. He directed the first Taken, uh, as well as Peppermint, uh, from Paris with Love, and uh, The Gunman, most recently. So he's done some very, very, uh, very good work. Um, tells the story of a special forces operator named Mason, played by John Cena. Uh, he is uh, retired because he uh, got involved in a very dangerous stunt. A very dangerous uh, thing in, uh, in I believe, uh, Islam, right? Uh, and uh, he is brought in to the uh, to the uh, back end, you know, to his ways to help uh, protect a journalist played by Alison Brie and uh, the president of uh, Paldonia gets involved at some point. Uh, and yeah, so, um, um, so let me get my notes ready here real quick. Um, so here's the thing. Um, the one thing that I will give marks to about the film is that it's not as irritating as I thought it would be. Um, I was expecting it to be just completely and utterly annoying, but thankfully it's, it's not, it's not as annoying. What is annoying is pretty much everything else. You know, the developments are, you know, like, like, okay, so Alison Brie, right, in the film, her whole role in the film is to film things, right? That's just what she does. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter if she's getting shot at. It doesn't matter if they're about to be captured. It doesn't matter. She needs to record it because... It's a hot story, and I need that juicy story for world peace. Um, John Cena's character is basically a poor man's Jack Ryan, or some whatever Tom Clancy book is lying around. Um, here's the thing, though. John Cena is unsurprisingly terrible in this, but everybody else in the film is surprisingly bad. Like, Al Alison Brie is a decent performer, and she's just just very bad in this, um, like, very bad, um, uh, the, the, it's, it's just cliched as hell, uh, the movie's humor, um, like, here's the thing, the movie's attitude, it should have been, this should have been the title of the movie, the, the, like, just forget the title Freelance, this is what you call the movie, the movie should have been called Passive Aggression, the movie, because every, the, the movie's humor is three things. Passive aggression, uh, penises, and the, and the middle finger. That's, that's the kind of humor in this. That's what they think is just, just crazy uh, funny, you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's actually very, uh, very uh, just childish and shit like that. What is hilarious is actually John Cena's run, the thing that I showed you at I filmed at the beginning of this. Um, oh my god, that's probably the funniest thing that I've seen probably all year in film. Like that, you know. And it's not meant to be funny. It's it's that's the why it's hilarious to me. It's not meant to be funny. It's been a very serious or attempting to be a very serious like sequence. It is just just that that to me is where the comedy is. That is just pure gold right there. Um, just, I would say this to the runner-up for that would be a John Cena driving back and forth across a bridge, 
in a intense action sequence. Um, and we don't kill a dictator because, hey, he seems like a good guy. Um, and, you know, the movie uh, is, like I said, I believe it's about an Islamic group, um, which seems very appropriate at the time. You know, we don't have anything like that, any issues with Islam or Islam themselves don't have any issues going on right now. Pretty sure of that. Um, and sarcasm. Um, one of the lines in the movie is, we're not monsters anymore. And it's weird. It's like, so you're implying that you were assholes before and now you're going to be okay? It's like, okay. Um, so politically, I'm not sure how this movie is going to go. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm not really sh entirely sure what the purpose of it was. I mean, it says it has purpose a lot. Like, John Cena vocalizes that quite a bit throughout the film. Like, it has purpose. I have purpose. I have purpose. Hey, I have purpose. Like, um, it's very densely purposeless um, in its direction. Um, it's very cheap, very cheap production. It's riddled with cliches. Um, like I said, pretty much the stunt work and just all that crap with John Cena running around in the jungle, that was hilarious. Um, what, the only thing that I found interesting about the film was the whole Pal Paldonian thing. I had no idea what the hell Paldonian was. I literally was looking up what Paldonia means while watching the film. That's how interested in the film I was. Um, and that's when I found out that it probably is an Islamic type thing. So... Yeah, I'm, pr I'm wondering how that message is going to be received when this movie gets, you know, released. It couldn't be more poorly timed to come out. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's unsurprising in terms of just how it is. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a, it's just a mess, you know, but it's not a mess that I found to be that annoying. The closest to annoying that I got was Alison Brie's character. That was the closest that I got. But, but yeah, it is it is just boring. It's just dull. It's funny in the ways that it, that it, that it, that it shouldn't be. Um, and please stop having John Cena as the lead of your films. It didn't work in Suicide Squad. It didn't work in Peacemaker. And it sure as hell does not work here. So, um, so... Yeah. But hey, John Cena has purpose, at least from what he says in the film. Because he has to remind you of that every every uh every five seconds. Um and apparently the president is all knowing, yet he didn't know that people were coming to attack him, um, and kill him and try to take over his country. Um and he knows that his ne nephew is 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 in on it like he's trying to take over as well but he doesn't do anything about it for some reason like it's it's just like throwing stuff at a wall and just kind of hoping that some stuff sticks you know sort of thing um and nothing really does except pro the potentially some of the attention because i was i was bored but i wasn't like you know I was just more tuned out, you know, I was still listening to it, but I was listening to it in the same vein as you playing the television, uh, while you're vacuuming, you know, sort of thing. It's there, you're, you're, you're listening to it to some capacity, but you're not giving it, like, your absolute attention, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, that, that was, that was fucking boring, so, um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Freelance. Uh, I thought it was pretty boring. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very curious as to how that message is going to be received. I'm surprised they have, they're not delaying the film or anything because of everything that's going on at Islam. So, um, But we'll see. Hopefully YouTube's also kind with uh, the comments. Uh, you know, I didn't make any political comments, but just addressing anything revolving politics remotely in that vein, apparently YouTube does not take kind to. So, so uh, I'm speaking about the film that is addressing politics, not bringing up politics. So just, you know, FYI. Um, but, you know, we'll see how YouTube is, it takes to that. But 
But yeah, so yeah, those are my thoughts on freelance uh, once again. So you guys want to know your thoughts on freelance if you guys have seen it. If you guys went to the mystery movie thing, let me know. Um, I was I tried to bite my tongue a little bit because there was a very nice uh, uh, gentleman. He was a little bit much older, but he was, you know, he was very very respectful, very very kind. Um, and yeah, I was trying to be respectful and all that with him watching the movie. And at some points I was, and then. Um, other points, I was audible. I was saying things, you know. So, so yeah, I'm kind of done with what uh, talking about it. So, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this review, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy the new setup. I don't have to hold the mic anymore. It's literally just now on a stand. So, but uh, but yeah, yeah. So, so that's it. I'm done now. So so that's going to be it. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.